Adenomyoepithelioma is an uncommon benign tumor of the breast, which consists of two components, myoepithelial cells and epithelial cells. The lesion is well circumscribed. It typically has a fibrous capsule on the periphery, and uh, we don't see any infiltrative or invasive type of growth. On low magnification, we can see partially lobular appearance and some cases are associated with central sclerosis or fibrosis as here and here. Uh, if we go closer, we can see relatively closely packed aggregates of cells, which might be worrisome, especially in core needle biopsies. However, the cells are very uniform and there are no mitotic figures and no atypical cytomorphological features. The tumor consists of these uh, cellular nests or glands well, with uh, two components. The first component is luminal epithelial cells, uh, which are surrounded by myoepithelial cells, which typically have a voluminous clear cytoplasm. And in between the nests, uh, there are thin fibrous septi. We can see lumina formation, at least in some parts of the tumor which are surrounded by luminal epithelial cells with round nuclei with inconspicuous nucleoli. Uh, the myoepithelial cells are relatively prominent, which is an important uh, morphological clue. So all of these cells with uh, clear cell, uh, clear cytoplasm, those are myoepithelial cells. They are typically localized in the periphery of the cellular nest, but sometimes they can be intermingled in between the epithelial cells. Here we have the entrapped adipocytes and also apocrine metaplasia is quite commonly seen in those tumors as uh, we can see it here. Immunohistochemistry might be useful if we want to visualize the myoepithelial component and also to make sure that uh, the lesion is not invasive. So all of these myoepithelial cells would be positive for myoepithelial markers like P63 S100, SMA, or cytokeratin-5. Epithelial component is positive for cytokeratin-7, and it uh, may express estrogen receptors. Adenomyoepithelioma is uh, typically a ben benign tumor with relatively low risk of recurrence after surgical excision. However, very rarely it might be associated with malignant transformation so this is another case where the benign component is uh, well circumscribed with thin fibrous capsule. But uh, here we have a small nodule which is much more hyperchromatic compared to the rest of the lesion. So let's zoom in. We can still appreciate darker epithelial cells and uh, more voluminous lighter myoepithelial cells. But uh, the nuclei are bigger they have prominent nucleoli and look at all of these mitotic figures. One, two, three, four mitotic figures all over the place. So this is a malignant component in uh, otherwise benign adenomyoepithelioma. This is another example of adenomyoepithelioma in uh, the core needle biopsy. It may be very hard to make the right diagnosis from the core needle biopsy because these closely packed structures uh, can look very worrisome. But the clue is uh, the prominent myoepithelial component and the immunochemistry. Uh, immunohistochemistry might be helpful. Thanks for watching.